I am Maite Toga. I am a pediatrician. I'm working in the Greater End Center in Toulouse, in France. And I take care of patients with Prader Willi syndrome for more than 20 years now. And I am Charlotte Hoyby. I'm an adult endocrinologist from Stockholm, Sweden. And I also take care of uh, adults with uh, Prader Willi syndrome since 25 years. So growth hormone treatment has been marketed for prader willi syndrome since 2000, both in the US and in Europe. Since this time, uh, we were very happy to use growth hormone in children, and this possibility has hugely changed things. First, it gave the opportunity to organize the care because the children were now followed by pediatric endocrinologists to implement growth hormone treatment as soon as possible. Secondly, uh, growth hormone treatment has shown very beneficial effects, first on growth velocity and growth in adult height, and then in body composition. And I must say that growth hormone treatment for PWS is the first indication of growth hormone treatment for metabolic reason, at least in Europe, where the indication is for body composition and not for growth. Growth hormone treatment also has beneficial effects on muscle mass, muscle tone, bone density, and metabolic effects. Regarding the start of growth hormone treatment, nowadays most of the the, the, the children started treatment during the first year of life and we were listening yesterday and most of them started before the six months of life if the early diagnosis is made. The follow-up of such treatment for uh, children with prader willi syndrome is the same than for other growth hormone deficient children but we have to take into account the, the comorbidities of the disease. And we have observed that growth hormone has no uh, uh, severe side effects, that the tolerance is good. We need to start after having performed a polysomnography just to show that there is no um, uh, uh, obstructive apnea and the central apnea is not a contraindication and growth hormone treatment decreases central apnea. We also have to uh, look at other contraindications, but for instance, scoliosis is not a contraindication. Growth hormone doesn't worsen, doesn't provide scoliosis, but scoliosis has to be followed up carefully during growth hormone treatment. And diabetes, if occurs, it's not a contraindication either, but it needs to be uh, controlled as uh, in other child with uh, or adolescents more often with uh, uh, diabetes. At the completion of growth, because growth hormone treatment is not indicated, at least in most of the countries nowadays for uh, adolescents and adults, we need to make a, a comprehensive workup at the completion of growth with re-evaluation of growth hormone secretion and of other hormone deficiency and uh, with these results, depending on the countries, we can start uh, restart growth hormone treatment if there is a growth hormone deficiency. Children with Prader-Willi syndrome are more sensitive to growth hormone than other children with growth hormone deficiency, and therefore the doses you, we, we use are lower than that, the doses that we normally use in children with growth hormone deficiency. And what we observe is that when growth hormone treatment was started before uh, the first year of life, uh, cognitive effects have been described, positive cognitive effects with more efficiency in some uh, cognitive abilities in children. I can say that growth hormone treatment has considerab considerably changed the phenotype and the presentation of children with Prader-Willi syndrome and the adolescents we now uh, make a transition with them for the adult follow-up are completely different than those who have been you know, followed up before uh, growth hormone treatment. 
Um, and I think I will leave the, the, the place to Charlotte Bay to talk about others. Thank you, Marty. As you already said, uh, growth hormone treatment is approved for the treatment of children with prader syndrome, and it is only approved in a few countries for treatment during the transition phase. And for the adults, uh, the growth hormone deficiency has to be evaluated according to guidelines. And most of the data we have are from uh, studies. And in studies of growth hormone treatment of adults with prader syndrome, uh, it has been shown very clearly uh, that the body composition uh, improves, uh, the, the amount of body fat decreases, and the amount of lean body mass increases. It has also been shown for the transition phase that when growth hormone uh, treatment is discontinued, then uh, the fat mass increases and the uh, lean body mass decreases. And then when the treatment is restarted, it all becomes better. Lean body mass increases and fat mass decreases. It has also been shown for the adults uh, that it has uh, that growth hormone treatment has beneficial effects on quality of life as well as on physical activity. There has been a few studies on the effect on um, bone mineral density, but uh, they were small and the, maybe the treatment too short to show any uh, effects. And the side effects are similar to the ones that uh, Malte mentioned, although the, the dose of growth hormone is much uh, smaller in, in children with Prader-Willi syndrome. But the um, immediate side effects are similar to the ones that we see in patients with uh, other diseases and uh, growth hormone deficiency. It can give joint pain, some can get a headache, just transiently and some edema, but they are very mild and serious side effects have not been seen. You also mentioned the diabetes and diabetes, an increase in, in uh, the number of patients with diabetes has not been seen. Some increase a bit in uh, glucose, fasting glucose and insulin, but this is what it would be expected because of the effect of growth hormone. Um, we have also looked at what happens with the respiration and sleep apnea and no negative effects have been seen. Both my Tobe and I are members of the Clinical Scientific Advisory Board of the IPSO uh, and we have wrote an article which is published in Orphanet year 2000 and it is uh, the title of the article is Time to Approval for Growth Hormone treatment in adults with prader syndrome. And if you'd like to read more about it, uh, you can read that article. Uh, in my opinion, growth hormone treatment is important during transition phase as well as in adulthood. Uh, but uh, growth hormone treatment will not change the intrinsic uh, abnormalities of prader syndrome but it offers uh, an opportunity to reduce uh, some of the adverse complications of the syndrome. Thank you. Thank you.